If you want to make a cinematic blurry background just like this using your phone, you can't because this is a $3,000 camera. However, you can make a similar effect using any smartphone, iPhone or Android, doesn't require paid apps, and all you need is the free CapCut video editor, which I'll leave a link to down below so you can download it and follow along with this tutorial, and I'll show you how to make a similar blurry background just like this. Now before we skip ahead to the tutorial part, there are three important things that you need to know, which is first of all, it is software based uh, making the background blurry. So what you need to do is help the software out by doing these two things. First thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you're well lit and that the background isn't as well lit or basically that you stand out from your background. And you can do that through lighting and you can also do that through the clothing you're wearing. So me wearing this black shirt with black signs in the background, not a good thing. I should probably change the shirt to something like green so I really stand out from my background. So keep those two things in mind when doing this effect so that way the software can easily identify where you are and be able to remove the background. Now, let's hop into the software and learn how to do this. All right, so let's get into making this effect. Here I am within CapCut, so we're gonna do is click New Project, and then here is the video I just recorded. So I'm gonna click Add, and here we go. I have that recording in my timeline. And what I'm going to do right off the bat is I'm just gonna click on this and I just wanna make sure that my effect is going to work before I go through all the work of doing this. So I can click on my video and then I can click on this remove background option. So if I click on this, it'll start removing the background and this is gonna give us a key as to whether the effect's gonna work. So we can scroll through and we can see it did an awesome job of separating us because we did our lighting right, we're wearing that different colored clothing. So we can see this is a very, did a very good job. So we can click on remove background again and just reverse that. We just wanna make sure that's actually going to work effectively before we go ahead and do things. Now that we've seen that, the next thing we're gonna to want to do is click the back button here and we're gonna to wanna to go over to effects. And in here, we're gonna click video effects. We're gonna click on basic and we are going to go to just the main blur, which is right here. So we're gonna click on that, we're gonna click the check mark, and then we're gonna make sure we extend it for the full length of the video. There we go, as you can see it's all blurry, and including myself. Um, real quick, just to show you, you can go in here and adjust how powerful that blur is going to be on your video. I think this looks bad, I like having it you know, blurry, but not super blurry, where you can't really see. I feel like this 32 is a pretty good blur effect. So now we're gonna go back. Now that we have this set up, this is where the part comes in where we can achieve that awesome cinematic look. What we can do is we're gonna click on overlay, and then we're gonna click add overlay. And here we're just gonna re-add the same video into our timeline. So click add, as you can see, I put a copy of it right over the top of the other one. I'm actually gonna pinch and zoom, just so it takes up the full screen. There we go. If we scroll through, it's gonna end at the exact same time. And here's where the trick comes in. We're gonna click on this, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click remove background. So I'm just gonna click on this and boom, as you can see, we now have this video with a removed background, which is then showing the blurry background on the first video, which then gives us this awesome look. So now, if we actually click play here, we can see that we now have this nice blurry background behind us for that really awesome cinematic type look. Now, if you end up using this effect, comment down below with a link to your video showing me how you've used the effect. I would love to see those results down below. And if you wanna learn more CapCut effects, I basically have a full college course worth of CapCut tutorials where you could learn so many cool different effects that you can do within the CapCut editing app. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you guys over there.